Hey guys, this is Unpossible POG. Today I shall show you the easiest way to send uh, parameters with different data types. For example, uh, 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 then it doesn't matter if it is the integer or string, or float, or boolean, etc. Uh, I'm using the Eclipse, but you can also also use the NetBeans. Okay, uh, you can also send uh, same uh, same data types parameters if you want to. For example, if you want to send five integer values, uh, three integer values, or uh, two string values, you can do that uh, with this technique too. Uh, although this technique is very easy, uh, it has some disadvantages or you can say drawbacks. Uh, I shall tell you about that uh, at the ending of this tutorial. But uh, let's um, you know send some values from one function to another ok uh, I shall create a um, new class first I will give it a name as let's say send click on the finish button um, it doesn't have the uh, main function so I shall create main function here public static void main string ar Okay. Uh, after that, I shall create a um, function. This public void sending. Uh, this void keyword uh, will be the um, temporary keyword. Uh, I shall uh, remove that uh, you know keyword later. But uh, after that, uh, let's suppose uh, I want to send some integer value. Uh, a is equals to 5 then I also want to send some uh, string value s is equals to unpassable which is my uh, channel name uh, then uh, one boolean value boolean b is equals to true as you can see uh, all of them have the different data types for example the string s has the string data type so uh, normally what we do e uh, here is um, instead of uh, void we type int uh, or string etc but if you want to uh, send all the uh, uh, you know variables with different data types so what you need to do is to import uh, util first so uh, import java dot util util dot star and after that uh, between public and sending you have to type vector vector is the, is the easiest way to send uh, values with different uh, data types so after that at the ending of this function you have to send some uh, vector variable so I shall create one variable vector v is equals to new vec vector and uh, then v dot uh, return v ok after that uh, now the vector is empty ok so I shall add one element into into it so v dot add um, a which is the integer then uh, v dot add I shall add the boolean value which is b then v dot add string which is s so um, after that what you need to do is to call the uh, sending function so first I will call the uh, class name which is send so I shall type send s s is equals to new send then s s dot uh, sending ok but uh, it is just calling it, it uh, the, uh, the value the class which is returning is vector so I shall create another vector variable here where I am calling the uh, sending function a vector ve is equals to ss dot sending so what happens now uh, when I call the ss, uh, SS dot sending function uh, it will uh, call uh, this sending function and return the uh, vector variable uh, I mean the uh, vec uh, vector 
with uh, uh, values inside it so after that if you want to check the uh, variables uh, you have to you simply have to type system dot out dot print ln um, v v e which is the vector the variable inside the main function so v e dot get and inside that there will be an integer index value so zero which will be the first value which is a here okay after that i shall copy it three times paste it three times sorry then two now i shall run the program here here as you can see uh, the output is far too uh, impossible so uh, the disadvantage in this technique is that uh, you must know the uh, how many variables you added into the vector variable otherwise it will give you the error okay um uh, i hope uh, it will be helpful for you in the uh, future if you are programmer uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe okay bye